Liz dressed up for us. This is what she would wear in a turnout class. Turnouts are dress up. It's usually the first class in the show because you already have everything clean. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> One of, the, one of the nice things about um, combined driving is that you can go through it, your hazards on the camera. Yes, and he would like to, so. But you see that, now, if I had been driving it, I would have made a bigger loop come to see, to come back through to see, because moving smoothly actually gets you there faster than when you have to shut down, except in a few instances. All right, now, go through. Let's see, just back to This is a whole lot of fun to do. And you do it in all kinds of weather. So you better take your rain gear along. A lot of times they'll have water hazards. A lot of times you come back soaking wet. With a little luck, you don't upend in a water hazard. That's an ugly experience. Uh, way too long. This one needs to be. Oh, she just saluted me. This is, that's something else that's important. Saluting the judge is uh, an important thing to learn how to do. See that by going bigger, it was smoother. And that's faster. When you have to start shutting down, you start losing time because it takes the horse a little while to get, get itself going again. Unless you have a something that can really rock it off its hind end. Alright, we have three set four sets of cones here. And they're not, I think they're not quite as tight as I'd like them. There are various games that get played. Probably my favorite is progressive cones where you start out with them 20 inches wider than your wheelbase and you end up with them two inches wider than your wheelbase. It takes some, some good driving to do that. When you set up your cones course, your points are always in unless you have the fancy cones that are um, flat on one side, which they do have at this event. As you see, I go for precise measurements. But you learn to make your strides, you learn to do this so that you can, can hit your strides pretty accurately. So, I'm gonna have you drive down through here. The first one's just a wiggle, and then a left hand right hand turn. One, two, three, four. Yes, you can. Okay.
back when I was doing this on a real regular basis, I went to, I was driving in a seminar that was looking for Olympic drivers, and I had been hitting the, just really solid on all the cones. Never hitting a cone, never touching anything. And then all of a sudden I started hitting them all the time. And I said, why am I hitting them all the time? And the guy that was doing the clinic said, because we set them to a zero clearance because you were doing so well. <laughs> That's a little unfair. All right. You see how important bending is, but a little sidestepping doesn't hurt a thing. When you go to go through combs, what I was taught a bazillion years ago is that um, the check hook is also called the water hook because when they were traveling cross country, they would hang water skins off there. So what I was told was, Put that water hook right through the center of the cones. So, yes? No, they do not have all have. The question is, do different carriages have different wheel widths? Oh, yes, they do. They have very different wheel widths. You can find as much as a 20 inch variance. So, when you arrive at an event, you generally take your vehicle and have it measured. And then that is on your. You know, that's on your entry, and they know how wide to set cones. Yep. All right, ladies. Liz, as you go through, I want you to look at your left cone as you approach it to go through. left cone. You notice how she kept getting closer and closer to that left cone? You never ever look at your cones as you're going through. You always look up and look forward. It's like jumping. If you look down at the jump, it's where you go. Does anybody have questions? Liz, you want to, or Paul, Martha, you want to go ahead and drive through that? Your vehicle's a little bit wider. And generally, there are balls on top of the cones, which lets you really know whether or not you've hit them. Okay, come back through them when you're done, and look down at your right cone as you go through. Yeah. See why you don't look down at your cones? And I'm guilty of it, I've done it too. Oops. That's it for today, unless anybody has more questions. Yes. I don't know where the team terms G and Hog came from, and I can't remember which one's left and which one's right. You do! I like that. Okay, did, you all, did all of you hear that? No. Then you, what he said was, the reason you use G is because you're always telling your wife, G, that's right. <laughs> the way you win at Double Jeopardy is to be very accurate and not down, knock down any balls. <laughs> yes. Any more questions?